Hi everybody. So, um, today what we are going to do something, um, going to try and recreate something. This is an abalone shell and this, um, my uncle who lived in San Diego and he was in the Navy, he, um, he, I took a liking to this when we were visiting them and he gave me this shell and it looks like a bloom in there and we it's just beautiful colors and of course they're all my teals that i like there's some pink in here there's some copper there's some gold around the edges and silver um all the different blues there's a little bit of like a lilac color so this is what gave me my inspiration today and i have picked out 14 colors <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know it sounds crazy, but that's what, that's how many colors are in there. So, that's what we're doing. And we're going to do a bloom and try and recreate that. Okay. So, I've got my pillow paint down. This is my color place, white. Nothing added straight out of the can and here we go so i'm going to start with a paint amsterdam quinacridone rose now because we have 14 colors um i don't want to add too too much paint but yet this is an eight by eight canvas so we need it to um you know i would like to have the colors go all over and cover the entire canvas so i'm just thinning out my quadraco down so there's not a whole lot of pink in there and i'm i'm kind of going to do that as well i'm going to keep looking at it and see okay what is you know what is the predominant color and we'll go by that so we're going to put this down here kind of on the outside and this is like about the size of a silver dollar the color that i'm putting down so because we're we need more paint to get it towards the outer edges now, uh, the next color is Sterling um, by this little piggy. I'm going to try and keep my lids with my colors. Um, it is a beautiful Sterling silver, and the edges on this abalone shell are Sterling or silver looking. So we're going to. Put this around the outer area. I have no idea if this is going to work or not, but we're going to find out together. So this is going around the outer area. This is a beautiful shimmery silver. Then I have a French lilac pigment by Primary Elements. There is very little of this in the abalone shell, so um, well, we may not be using this. My paint has thickened up to a glob. Let's see if we add a little bit of water, if we can bring it back. Now I've just gone and made it too thin. It's weird how this has thickened. Bear with me a minute. I'm stirring. Oh yeah, we can save it. It's coming together now. It is so cold here. It got down to under zero last night and so my paints are thick. Probably too thick, some of them. 
but other ones are not. So, oh, we got a big goober in here. We got to get rid of this. Oh, my. There we go. Okay, so we're going to put some of this around the outer edge because that's where it appears in the abalone. Just very interesting color combinations. And I don't know where my uncle got this, if he got it off the shore of San Diego or if he got it overseas somewhere. I don't know when. I don't remember. Now this is a copper and there is very little copper in the abalone shell but it is near the outside so I'm just going to drizzle some of that like so. I think that's enough it's going to want to take over. Now we come to our teals. I have this little piggy, brand new color, Lagoon. And it is in this abalone shell. So now these are taking place more towards the outside and the center. So I really want to fill this up with this lagoon and all the teal since the shell is predominantly the bluish colors. I've been thinking about doing this for a while and I finally hit a lull in my um, uh, creating here. So I figured enough of the blooms, enough of the uh, other techniques, and that we would finally try this. This is Guatemalan green, very close to the lagoon, but different, a little bit lighter. Well, lots of that. Okay, this is another new color that I just got. It's called This Little Piggy um, Pigment, and it is called Taffy. And it is a beautiful medium blue with all kinds of shimmers. So we're going to put some of that in there. That's going to give us our darker color of the shell. And I don't want to go crazy with that because I don't want it to take over everything. So we're going to stop right there. And then we have this little piggy glisten. So this is an interference color that has greens and teals and, um, and blues in it. This is going to give it the shimmer and shine that we see on the shell and I really kind of want to load up all over with this one that's going to give us our when we tilt the painting it's going to give us our diff, show us our different colors we're getting there now I have a purple light purple metallic where did all my hold on i've never used this many popsicle sticks before i had to go and get some more here just like a lilac color shimmer we're just going to put a little bit of that in hopefully it peeks out not too much because there's not much of it in the shell. Now this color, this is like one of my favorite colors. This is this little piggy primary um, pigment in Lakeside. And this is also going to give us the darker blue that we see in the shell. I 
I kind of want quite a bit of this. Mm. Let me look. Yeah, there's not so, so much of that, so I'm going to quit there. And then I have another new one. I went busy on the new release at this little piggy. They came out with, I think, nine new colors. This one is called Athena, and it is a beautiful, beautiful rose gold. And I don't want to put too much because this is not a primary color in the shell, but just enough to give it a give it a try. Number one, number two, to uh, get some of the pink shimmer in there. This is ore, and this is a gold again. There's not too much gold in there, so we're just going to put a little drizzle. We're on our last two colors, folks. This is called Sea Glass. This will make up the outer edge where some of that lighter color exists. And since it's on the top, we'll see it a little bit more. And last but not least, I have Deco Art Extreme Champagne Gold. So this is going to give us kind of our, um, a little bit of the browns and, I don't want to say browns, like the um, beige color that appears in the shell. And this has a beautiful sheen to it too. So we're just going to drizzle a little to kind of tone that all down. I hope I have enough teals and everything. All right, let's get our skewer. Skewer. We're going to pop our bubbles. And um, we're going to use the black cell activator, mostly because these are lighter colors. And also because that's what appears in the shell, darker in between those beautiful blues. Okay, so let's find our black cell activator. Let's find a stick. Now we have to put quite a bit in here. Let's get this centered back first. Okay, like I said, I have no idea if this is going to work. And we're going to put an amount about the size of a quarter because we have a lot of blowing. It will not go right where I want it. Okay, we're going to stop there. I'm going to try and blow this from the lungs. goodness all right I'm gonna stop there we're going to let that come back a little bit so for those of you that are trying to blow from the lungs and are having problems with it I found out this this the answer when you blow, let your cheeks go out like you're a puffer fish. You get more air in your mouth and then you can blow it out gently without being, without getting those long lines and petals. And if you keep your, your cheeks out like a big puffer fish, it seems to work better. <laughs> Okay, 
does not want to move now. So let's see. The center is still is still coming back up because it's not moving right now. So we're going to let that paint retreat back in there until the center starts to move. Not yet. And let's look again at our shell. So this is kind of going to actually kind of be perfect because the balloon part is only in the center and then you've got more just general colors out towards the edges. So these general colors that are not, that do not have cell activator on should work really good. So let's spin and see what we get. Okay, see how it's all moving now? It's ready to spin. Let me get this out of my way. Here we go. Ooh. We're sloppy. We're drippy. Oh, pretty. I want to try to get this out further. Oh, it's really dripping now. Yeah, look, it's getting out to the edges. Oh, wow. I like it. Go the other way. Yeah, we got a lot of paint to get rid of here, people. Anytime I want something to turn out really good, I use a lot of paint because that's the key. You never want to end up using too little paint, but then you've got to work at getting it off. All right. So I don't like this. This needs to be broken up a little. So, let's tilt, we're going to tilt that way just a little bit and see if we can tilt some of that off. If not, that's okay. Not happening. So we're going to try one other thing. So gravity, it's a thing. So if you have something hanging off the edge further this way, it's the paint is going to go that way. So let's try lifting this up and sending it over that way a little. And spin gently and see if that takes care of it. So much for my beautifully clean um, box here. Not working. Let's try it again. Still not working. Hmm. Well, that's going to have to do. I'm not touching it because I will goof it up if I try to do something with that. Let's check our corners. Our corners are done. This is just beautiful. It's, it's just beautiful. Turned out really nice. So I'm going to hold up the shell after I wipe my hands off because this is my prized possession. See that? Probably could have used a little bit more of the teals. The blue kind of took over, so I would use less blue next time. But it is very pretty and it's got all the colors in there. And I like it. 
So, there you have it. I will take you down off of here. And, sh oh, wait. I see one thing. There's a little measle right there. And there. That's our pillow coming up through. And one more right here. That sterling really, see this is the color right here. This is more the shade, but still pretty. I love it. I might, we might be doing another one of these folks and try to get it a little bit closer. Let me take you off of here. I will show you. So I don't know if you can see, look at the glimmer of the, uh, the glitter pink and the, uh, what was that? Oh, the Athena. This is the Athena. That's beautiful. And there's all different glimmers and shine in the black coming from all those blues and the interference pigment it's just beautiful so let me bring you up give you the complete look there you have it very pretty all right if you enjoyed this please subscribe to my channel uh, give me a thumbs up on the video that helps me reach more people and um, I would appreciate it. Okay. Thanks everybody. Good night.